When did Michael Jackson first perform the moonwalk? That is the pop quiz question we have for you today on today's video. If you know that answer, drop it in the comments right now and let us know. If not, don't worry, we'll give you the answer towards the end of our yes. video. And we're coming back to Michael Jackson on the heels of probably going to be our post most popular video. We did Thriller. Thriller. In the last one, and uh, that was quite the experience. Very enjoyable experience. Got educated a lot. Yeah, in those the video comments. was crazy. Oh, it was awesome. Really appreciated the um, the cultural significance of it as well. In that, that probably, well, not probably, it did change the game for music videos. Yeah. And uh, you guys were telling us all your personal stories in those comments about how when you were going to school, everybody was talking about it, doing the yeah. dance the next day. How every, the whole world basically stopped when the Thriller video, yeah, music video literally came out. to focus on Thriller. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you guys were just talking about how much of a cultural phenom that Michael Jackson was at the time. And uh, you really couldn't describe and tell us and allow us to understand how significant it was. You kind of had yeah. to be there to understand it, right? And um, you guys were also in those comments being like, how do you guys not know Thriller? How did you go this long in your life without seeing the Thriller mu music video? And this is impossible. I don't believe you. You guys are doing this for clicks and clickbait yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. And I can tell you guys that is not true. We definitely... Uh, yeah. I had not seen it before, Neither have I. and um, Sam had has had more exposure to Michael Jackson than I have. Yeah, but I had not seen it before in my entire life. Yeah. Now I'm going to explain why that is now, so you guys can get it because I want to kind of answer some of those comments, and you know, can't let everybody just take stabs at me. And, you know. <laughs> Needs to defend himself. <laughs> right. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, not even just defend myself. It's just, you know, I want to actually let people know why because everybody's upbringing is a little bit different, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I can totally understand if you grew up in the 80s or the 90s why you would be hip to Michael Jackson being so culturally influential. I didn't grow up in that time period. So that's the point number one. And I know other people are going to say, yeah, but I, you know, I'm younger and I still know about Michael Jackson. And the problem for me was that like I started to get catch wind of Michael Jackson, unfortunately, when he was, you know, on the back end of his life. And I think he died in 2009, right? So I would have been in my early 20s, you know, in my teens when some of the things were coming out about Michael Jackson that people were, um, you know, speaking negatively in a negative light about him. him yeah. Whether it was his image or some of his personal life or whatever, you know, people at that point had kind of um, been saying things that made me at the time of my life be like, why do I even want to check this dude out? Right. Yeah. And so not going to be as open minded as a teenager. Right? Yeah. And it wasn't even like I had an opinion about him. I was just like, well, everybody's saying he's kind of weird. So I'm just not even going to bother checking into this stuff. And I was so immersed in my own music and I, you know, was really into hip hop. And a lot of the artists that we listened to, hip hop artists, were even taking stabs at him, taking digs at him. He was kind of the, the, you know, poke fun at for comedians and everything. So I was just at that point, like, you know, what interest am I going to take in getting myself culturally affiliated with him? Yeah. So that's the perspective perspective I had at the time I like I said didn't really um, think of him in a certain way I just was like well he doesn't seem like he's important enough for me to get educated on yeah and you didn't have anybody in your life either that was telling you anything different than that exactly. right? like you're no one in your family listened to him or right. was a fan or anything like that so you didn't have anybody being like you know that's all nonsense he's great right? yeah so. and I but I didn't know I did know some people were like really in love with Michael Jackson still I just really didn't understand why yeah and now I'm coming to realize that <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, how talented he was. Yeah, and I think like now that I know more about Michael Jackson and his story, I actually feel really sorry for the way his life turned out being such a phenom and having so much impact. But I think it stems, my personal opinion upon reading about it is that, you know, his upbringing, I think his childhood really became influential to who he became as an adult in a good way and a bad way as well. And, um, you know, he obviously passed away at an earlier age than people would have wanted that wanted to have happen. I think that was also... You you know, probably due to some of those things and, you know, maybe some of the drug usage that came about and, you know, having to cope with being a little bit of a different individual. So um, I think, you know, looking back now and hearing what everybody was saying about him and how that influenced me, I kind of feel like 
bad about it because I don't know it was entirely fair. Yeah. And he now doesn't have an ability to um, defend himself in any way with yeah. a lot of the stuff that's come out. So I think it's kind of, you know, unfortunate the way this story came to a close, but I'm glad I'm able to appreciate it now and kind of have an open mind about things. Yeah, for sure. And like you had mentioned, I had a little bit more of a introduction to him, but I was very young at that point. Uh, I got introduced to him because he was the theme of like a figure skating carnival that I was part of. And all of the numbers in the performance were all different Michael Jackson songs. So I think I was like maybe 12 at the time. So like when you're that young, like you hear the songs and you think they're cool, but like you don't really know anything about the artists themselves, right? Like you don't take it upon yourself. It's at that time, there was no internet. There was nothing like that really, right? To go and yeah. do all this research. So my parents never like loved him or listened to him. It was nothing I like grew up around. It was more so like that was my introduction and then that was it really. And then... I was a teenager when he passed away, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, I just like never really got exposure to it. The reason why I knew the thriller dance a little bit is actually from the movie 13 Going on 30 with Jennifer Garner because they do the dance in that movie. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason why I even knew like the thr like the little bit of the thriller dance. I didn't even know it came from a music video. I thought it just like was just like a dance that somebody, you know, like there's songs out there that people just make up dances to. Like yeah. I thought it was just like that. So I have never seen that music video and um, that's pretty much my extent of Michael Jackson and even this song that we're about to do I'm familiar with the song but I'm not familiar with Michael Jackson's version of it I know that it's a cover but I actually first heard it from The Weeknd because mm. The Weeknd has a cover of this song so I don't think I've ever heard the original well I haven't heard either yeah. so it's about time we get started with yes. it we've been rambling for a little while but we wanted to give you a backstory on us because there were so many con comments on the last one guys like yeah. you said it was overwhelming it's, it's amazing to see all the engagement with the channel we really yeah. really do appreciate it but that's why we wanted to give you a backstory I know some of you are going to be like listen man don't worry we don't care we just like that you're doing Michael Jackson yeah. And uh, but some of you probably do want to hear the backstory so that's why we did mm -hmm. it you ready to get it going with Dirty Diana I am let's do it interesting name Dirty Diana. Makes me think like she's dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like dirty, dirty. Well, we'll, f we'll find let's, out. Let's find out what it means.
Michael. All right, we'll just pause it briefly here. Um, I just wanted to make mention that it's it's very unique sound for what we've heard from Michael thus far. Mm-hmm. In it's that, very different. Yeah, it's got this like rock mix to it. That's pop R and B rock kind of. Yeah. Uh, um, mashed the into guitar one. and stuff in there. Yeah, even the 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 way the rhythm and the melody sound like that's the vibe I get. The way his vocals coming in is yeah. much much different. Like it's it's a little more gritty to it. Yeah. And I like it. It's like it's kind of got this aggression, which mm-hmm. is fitting for the song. Mm-hmm. You know, comparatively to Thriller, Thriller is kind of this like fun, like playful, Upbeat, you know, like... message to it, right? And this is like I'm actually annoyed. I'm upset. Like yeah. Diana's trying to <laughs> screw me basically, and not in more in more than one way we'll say <laughs> and um so that, i like that because he's given that portrayal with the emotion and the context of the lyrics yeah. and, and the vocals all meshing together then you got the rock kind of feel to yeah. it which very, is like powerful very different than what i've experienced with michael jackson yeah. thus far. so showing his diversity with it and um I'm, I'm liking it and i think this must be post thriller right i think this is off of we read bad which i think is after thriller the thriller album I'm not 100% sure of the timeline. I think they said this was from 1987. Right. Yeah. So yep. that would have been post thriller. Okay. Yeah. Um, so anyways, what, what are your thoughts? How does this compare to the one that you knew? It's very similar. Um, I feel like it has a very similar like groove to it. Like it's like that kind of like harder hitting like in and out of that, like almost like punches like in the the delivery, I feel like where it's like you said almost that like gritty emotion and passion and, but also like kind of the anger almost and the aggression. Mm -hmm. So it is very similar. I would say in the delivery of the other version that I have listened to. I mean, obviously they're, they've actually been compared a lot in their vocal ability. So I feel like it also, that's kind of the similarity there too. Um, I would just say like in this, I feel like his, vocals a little bit more gritty and like raw whereas I feel like the one with The weekend is almost a little bit more smooth if mm. that makes sense but that could just be due to the timing of the production and stuff for like sure. that as well um, but it's it's like very similar which is crazy because I mean you know for both of them they're both obviously highly acclaimed artists but you never really think that something's going to sound that similar to Michael Jackson. Well it's probably more of a tribute from The weekend as yes. well anytime you do anything from Michael Jackson right and yes. there's been other artists that have done uh, similar songs or whatever and you know I think they try to make it a tribute to Michael Jackson rather yeah. than trying to make it better or Yeah no like no that. no for sure. So I'm sure that's what The weekend was probably doing mm-hmm. but uh, do you like the song is this you know I mean I don't think it's one of The weekend's more popular songs right? No I don't think it is either. But you know this song, so you must have liked it from the weekend. Do you like it from Michael Jackson? Yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's really cool to see this side of him, especially compared to all the other stuff, like you said, that mm-hmm. we've done from him. Has been like very poppy and fun and mm-hmm. upbeat, and this is very different than that. Cool. And I think it's also cool to see him like he's getting so into the performance, and I feel like you know he's still doing his dance moves and stuff like that. But I feel like in the performance side of the video, he's getting very like emotionally, almost like captivated. Mm-hmm. I feel like bringing that passion and that emotion through a to it being like more like upbeat and snappy yeah. and dancey, which is more of his usual vibe. So it's kind of cool to see this side of him as well. Well, like I think that performer. goes with what some of the commenters were saying on the Thriller video is that he really embraces the creative concept. And that's why a lot of people probably appreciated him as an artist because he just doesn't come in and make a song. He does everything. You know, he does the dance moves. He got to make sure the video looks good. It's got to make sure that every's fitting, everything's fitting from the music and the lyrics. Mm-hmm. So it's a composition as a whole. And I think that's, you know, sometimes lacking in the modern music that we listen to. Yeah. to today but that's probably what he's you know in capturing is that it's not just a song it's like i'm gonna give you a whole performance and that's what michael jackson represented yeah. right i also think lyrically it's pretty cool too because i feel like this is a topic that you know most uh popular celebrities can probably relate to right dealing yeah. with groupies and people trying to take advantage of you and stuff like that so i feel like you know it's something that is is probably very prominent for, for people sure. in this position. Yeah. All right, let's keep it going, see what he's going to do in the last two and a half minutes, see if we get any crazy dance moves. I think that was starting to percolate yeah, a little bit. A little. So <laughs> let's roll.
fire. She's in the car. <laughs> Diana's there waiting for him. No surprise. Oh my God. I wonder, uh, you guys can let, let us know if this was an actual concert that they took footage from or if it was just a stage concert that they built for this music video. I would like to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. I thought it was so good. And I feel like I like almost like this the best out of all of his vibes. Like, I feel like that kind of your rock with the guitar and like all that. Like, it was so fun. Yeah, it was a great fun song. But like I said, it had such energy to it, a great dynamic of the storytelling, mm-hmm. and the passion and the performance, all that. You got um, all in one package with this one. And, you know, there's a reason why everybody called him the king of pop, right? Oh, so he was uh, killing the, the rock on this one, too. Yeah, I think it's really cool for me, too, for this one. Because like I said, like, I really liked the other version. I used to listen to it all the time. So I feel like it's almost nostalgic in a way for me, but different mm. because it's like the one it's that I used to listen to. Yeah, it's like, but your experience in the past. It's almost like the, the backwards of a cover though, because it's yeah. like I used to listen to the cover, but yep. I didn't really get into Michael Jackson. So now it's almost like I'm learning like the origin story of where it came from, which is really cool. That's right. Well, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to Dirty Diana. I enjoyed experiencing it. And I think like you said, this might be my favorite Michael Jackson yeah. song to date. Um, but uh, we haven't really experienced a lot of his catalog. So Still got lots to go so that I you got to introduce us to. Yeah, I shouldn't jump ahead too far. And you guys can let us know about other stuff that you you might like to see. I mean, there are songs that we might know but haven't seen the video from. I think there's one that uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen does the guitar solo in. And now that we know Van Halen a little bit more, maybe we should check that out. So yeah. you guys can let us know what you would like to see. If you want to see more MJ on our channel, you can hit those comments and let us know. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Before you go, we got to give you the answer to that pop quiz question that you asked yes. at the beginning of the video. Samantha, would you like to elaborate? Yes. Yeah, so that was first done. The moonwalk was on the Motown 25 televised in 1983. That's right. That's the first time he did the moonwalk. Yes. If you knew that answer, congratulations. You get a round of applause from Samantha and I. Woo! That's it. Nothing else. Sorry. Don't have much else to offer, but we do appreciate you and we appreciate your support. Thanks so much for all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions in 2023, guys. We got over 100,000 subscribers way faster than we thought was going to be possible, but we got some new goals for 2024 and we want you around and we want you to be a part of it. Come so, join us. So if you want to be on the journey with us, we'd love to have you. We got comedy, music, and sports, two videos every single day, and that's what you got to look forward to. So come alongside us and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.